Lawrence on the front row, Steve on the inside, and the 78D Uncle Russ Dufinet on the outside in the Mike White owned 42. A stacked field of strictly stocks on hand today. Green flag set to fly for the quicko. A slicker dash number one. Green flag in the air, run away. A nice clean start into turn number one. Steve Dufinet on the bottom side. Russ Dufinet on the outside. Steve Dufinet going to get the advantage on the bottom side. Russ Dufinet settles into the second spot. Look at Oscar Leclerc go in car number 45. Leclerc in the third spot right now. Doing a nice job through one lap. Battle is for the fourth spot now. Steve Danger Dickey in the 10th car and Rob Bielmita battling it out for the fourth spot. Dickey going to take over the fourth spot. Now going to go to work on Oscar Leclerc. Leclerc looks like he might have a little bit more motor this year in car number 45. Sideways working the wheel in car number 45. Leclerc, a long time competitor here at the Star Speedway, now going to have to deal with Danger Dickey. Leclerc sideways down the back straightaway. That allows Dickey in the 10th car to the bottom side. Now Diomita throws it in hard and gets her around the 45 of Oscar Leclerc. Diomita still sideways. He's able to hang on. The caution flag will come out. So the first caution flag of the 2016 campaign for the 45 of Oscar Leclerc. And I think he got a little bit of an assist from the 18 of Rob Diomita, who will head to the back of the pack. so far. Two laps in to the quick little slicker dash number 166K sitting in the fourth spot. So Chris up there in his first taste of the action in the 2016 campaign, his rookie year. He'll be in a tough title fight for the rookie of the year honors this year. Oscar Leclerc back underway in car number 45. He'll reel, reel it in and get to the back of the back. Rob Bielmita in the back now as well in car number 18 for his involvement with Oscar. Oscar, I believe, going to try to get in front I'm not sure. He'll going to cross up next time by. He's going to get back underway. Two laps in the record books for a quick, quicker with slicker dash number one. Eight laps remain. The Dufinette still on the front row. Steve down low got the best of Uncle Russ. Dufinette on the outside on the first start. Keep an eye on Steve Danger Dickey in car number 10. He's been known to mix it up in car number 10. Green flag in the air and we're back underway. Dickey now takes advantage of the start, gets underneath Russ Dufinick. Battle for the second spot now. Steve Danger Dickey in car number 10. Working the wheel in car number 10, able to get by Russ Dufinet. Now Russ Dufinet gives him a little bit of the bumper, but Dickey's going to take him to the second spot. Dufinet, Russ Dufinet settles into the third spot. Fourth is still Chris Schroeder, then Ryan Foley is in the fifth spot. Oscar Leclerc trying to work Foley over for that fifth spot. Foley sideways down the back straightaway. Up front, Steve Dufinet looks pretty stout. Car number 78D has the lead. That's that on the racetrack for the fifth spot now. Oscar Leclerc to the bottom side of Foley. Leclerc gets the bottom side working and takes over the fifth spot. Foley hung out to drive on the outside. Now battle for the second spot. Russ Dufinet in car 42 drives it in hard, gets to the outside of Dickey. Dickey still working that wheel halfway home that time by five down, five to go. Now Dickey knows Russ Dufinet. He wasn't happy with the way he passed him. Here we go. And quicker with slick and dash number one for the Woody's Auto Strictly Stucks. Going to be an entertaining 50 lap main event later on in the evening. I can tell you that right now. Up front, Steve Dufinet, a former champion in the Woody's Auto Strictly Stocks, looks very stout in that beautifully prepared car number 78D. Got the lead early and he has taken off from the rest of the field so far. Seven laps for record books that time by three laps remain for your leaders, Steven Dufinet. Uncle Ross Dufinet still sitting in the second spot. Steve Dickey third, fourth, Chris Schroeder battle the fifth now. Here comes racing Jason Ryan in car number 82. Two laps to go, Oscar Leclerc trying to hold off Ryan Leclerc way up the racetrack. That's going to give the fifth spot to the 82 of Jason Ryan. Oscar fighting hard on the outside groove, but this time Ryan's going to get the better advantage and take over the fifth spot. White flag in the air, and he is on cruise control in car number 78D to send a street auto ride for Steve Dufinet. 
Oscar Leclerc is absolutely all over the place in car number 45. Him and Neil Meade are going at it one more time. Checkered flag in the air, and it's going to fly for Steve Dufinet. Second will go to Russ Dufinet. Third to Steve Dickey. Fourth to the 82 of Jason Ryan. And fifth, rounding up the fifth spot, will be the 66K, the captain, Chris Schroeder. So Schroeder, a nice job. Gets a top five in his first start of 2016 of his rookie campaign. So Dickey and Russ Dufinet now going at it just a little bit. Shaking off the winter blues in heat race number one for the Woody's Auto Strictly Stocks. The quicker was like a dash. And word from race control Steve Dickey in the 10 and the 42, Russ Dufnet, will be DQ'd from their heat event. Green flag set to fly. Love, Joy, and Storis. Mike Walker looks him over and lets him go. Green flag, we're underway. Beecher sideways at the start of the 57. He regains control and we stay green. Lovejoy gets the jump in car number 79. Here comes Belfieri now. Anthony Belfieri, the Lawrence Air Motive sponsored car number 90. Ducks to the bottom side and takes over the second spot. Jim Storis back to the third spot. Battles for the fourth spot now. Brian Beecher in the 57. And the 74. Now we got one off into the dirt now. The 44 of Storis way off the racetrack. He's going to keep it going, and we're going to stay green. Thank you very much, Mr. Storis. If it wasn't for the hard work of Bobby Weber and Junior and crew, they would have been in the swamp last week. We got the Unity Dirt Bank up there now, and that allowed the 44 of Storis to keep going. Now Storis is going to do it again in 44. Where is he going now? He's in the trees now. Bye-bye, Jimmy. Caution, flag is out. Wow. Someone has not shaken off their winter blues just yet. Holy Lord, he almost went for a ride that time in car number 44. He still didn't find the woods. Well, now everybody's holding their breath. Some of the fans, I just heard someone say he's mad he cut the trees down. He wanted to see some trees go shaking that time. Jim Storis in 44 with big trouble. I think he would have kept that going, but Mike Walker lost sight of him as he was almost in New England Dragway territory. Brian Beecher in the 57 with trouble. On the back shoe, looks like he might need a push. All right, Love Joy in the 79. El Fury in the 90. Seven laps remain. Green flag back in the air. Love Joy kind of dead on the restart. And the green flag is out. Not sure what Travis Lovejoy was doing, but the caution flag is going to come back out now. Caution back on the speedway. Lovejoy was doing on that restart. Green flag back in the air and we're underway. That time Lovejoy got on the gas and a good start. Walker liked what he saw that time. Here comes Belfier in the outside group. Now Lovejoy running him up the racetrack side by side for the lead. Lovejoy not giving Belfier much room. They rub through turn three and four at the line. This time it's going to be... Belfieri on the outside groove by a bumper. Belfieri working the outside groove. Lovejoy rubbing him hard through one and two. Lovejoy now gets the advantage. He's working the side panels on car 79. Belfieri staying right with him. Lovejoy bounces off him once again. Halfway home and Belfieri's going to leave it again. This is what you can expect week in and week out in the Woody's Auto Strictly Stocks. Good hard racing. At the top spot, Belfieri doing it on the outside groove in Lawrence Air Motive 90. Now Lovejoy washes up the racetrack one more time, a little more contact, and Walker's going to let Lovejoy know he don't like it. 
That time through turns one and two, Belfieri got through it pretty good. Down the back straightaway, Belfieri trying to get sole possession of that top spot, and he might be able to this time. Lovejoy throws it in hard once again, comes up the racetrack, gets into Belfieri one more time, but Belfieri's got the track. Give the lead to car number nine, the Atkinson, New Hampshire driver, Anthony Belfieri. Lovejoy settles into the second spot, hard racing for third now, Mark Parento and John Cashman. This time by two laps to go, eight down, two to go for your leader, Belfieri. Battles for the third spot now. Parento washed up the racetrack that allowed the 78 of Cashman. The battle for the third spot. Matt Robinson right there in the 99, three wide for third now. Robinson thought better of it, back out of it. A nice move for Matt Robinson, white flag in the air for Belfieri. Keep an eye on that battle for the third spot, though they're not done yet. Cashman got a little bump from Matt Robinson. Robinson right there waiting in the wings in car number 99. Checkered flag gonna fly this time by, and it's flying for Atkinson, New Hampshire driver, Anthony Belfieri. Second will go to Lovejoy, third will go to Cashman, fourth will go to Mark Parento in the 74, and Matt Robinson in the 99 will round out your top five. So how about that edgier seat excitement in the quick with Slick at Nash number two? A nice win for car number 90, the Lawrence Air Motive sponsored car of Anthony Belfieri, who did it the hard way around the outside of the tight quarter mile here at Star and Lovejoy was using him up on the bottom side. As you can see from the side of Lovejoy's car. But it didn't phase Anthony Pelfieri much in car number 90. He's able to nail down the quickest slicker dash number two.